this shellac shape is worrisome. In fact, or I want him fear mojito in Yoruba. We say or I want him fear mojito when something is going out of hand. It simply means it needs close monitoring, just like medical doctors will say we need to keep this patient, you know, in the ward for close monitoring to avoid adverse or adverse situations. Similarly, that's what is happening here. Or Robella at the shakes with him fear mojito by Cabo. This is Tanado where we learn all things Yoruba. Here we learn about the Yoruba beliefs, culture, philosophies, and the language itself. You're welcome. So here's a little background story to this whole shellership. Yeah. In case you haven't been following, the BB Ninja season seven has been going on for a few months now, and there are these two housemates in the house who, you know, as always have a ship. In this case, we have Sheikh and Bella. And over the months, there's been this abusive, narcissistic relationship going on between them. I prefer to call it a trap ship because I feel like nobody should be in this and be, call, and be calling it a relationship. It feels like a trap. And, you know, there's this whole charade, this cycle of Sheikhs, the guy gets angry, the lady Bella apologizes for everything whether she's at fault or not she gets to apologize and shakes the man of the home lord and savior is always there talking down at her calling her names you know abusive names and well like you'll see in the next clip Ebuka, the host of the eviction shows uh, asked Bella what's going on are these abusive words are they sort of a love language for you or you know what's going on well hear from the horse's mouth what I replied to this was I feel like quite a few times when I tune in you are apologizing to Shanks or something or the other and um, I'm not really sure why that keeps happening and then I hear you being called fool you're sick you're stupid a lot of those very weird words. It's not a love language for you. I'm not sure why you keep taking that. What's happening? It's actually not a love language. We're like, and I really like him. So, yeah. I wouldn't take it a normal day, but yeah. I apologize to him because he feels like, sometimes he feels like I disrespect him. So when you love people, you're okay with name calling? I'm just trying to understand that. I'm actually not okay with it. I'm trying to correct it. And he's been, he's, he has actually improved in it. So, yeah. We're still working on getting to know each other. Alright, so as I said, this is a Yoruba channel and you'll be wondering what has Baby Niger got to do with Tanado? We draw inspiration from everything around us and on this channel, anything that we can use to learn the Yoruba language, the Yoruba culture is admissible. So in this case, we'll be using their experience and two dynamics that we're touching on in this channel to learn you know how Yoruba would react or how the Yorubas would react to a situation a situation such as this what are the likely proverbs metaphors idioms and so on and so forth that would likely um that would spring up in this kind of scenario so we have two dynamics one is a shellership and the other is a friendships quote and unquote we'll get into it so first the shellership in ancient times the pattern, the, the system for getting married between a man and a woman usually follows, you know, steps where the man or the young man, of course, sees the lady, likes what he sees, you know, wants to get close to her. But you don't just move close to a lady, yeah? You need to get an intermediary who we call a larino. The larino moves between you, the man, and the lady in question who you're interested in. That Alarino goes to check the family, sees if the family is, you know, worthy enough and speaks on your behalf in most of the cases. Now, when all is said and done, you get to meet your bride-to-be. You have free access to have communication with her then. 
since come over now that this is just a summarized explanation it is that's not how it happens in full of course we have another video to discuss all of that but i just wanted to say that to say well in recent times those things are no longer in place at least not everybody does that anymore what we have now is a guy sees a girl along the road you move on to her and then oh i like you the girl likes you back and boom the relationship starts in this case well the house has brought them together and boom there's a relationship springing up in i mean less than a week that they entered the house but the problem here is bella won't see fear local so why are you acting like you don't see some worry i'm a book we okay we out to wall your cock we want she had nyama nyama or basha basha all of that so okay that's a different dynamic where we have to deal with okay she omaduro ni abomadali mosho but here you are i will be a woman to show why are you putting yourself in this kind of mess what kind of emotional need is it you're trying to fulfill by staying in this kind of relationship you know we have a yoruba proverb that says i'm really worried about how she's taking all of this and you know like i said I'm hoping it's a game for her, but after listening to her response to Ibuka's question, I think I really like him, so I wouldn't take it a normal day, but yeah. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. The only proverb coming to my head is and that is what Bella is doing. I mean, even if I wanted to play devil's advocate in defense of Bella, one in Yoruba, I'm not going to be a good person. I'm not going to be a good person. Shukon si be no, common sense lets us know that Igi woroko, ni no no, ole she be, kuda e kuko be no. In other words, Bella cannot be riding on, oh I don't want to be selective, oh you can't get the perfect person, which is true. And doing this at the detriment of our own well-being. Our well-being, our mental health is at stake. And I'm not even being cliche, our mental health is at stake. That is, if this isn't a game for her. Moving on to Shakes, of course, the Olorioko in this relationship. And who is enjoying, I mean, I feel like he's thoroughly enjoying the attention. I guess it's what narcissists do, yeah? I think, and I'm also hoping that this is a game for him. Shukosibe, toba sokwe eyo abi forere. Shilo ye kopa for him ona oni iwo. Everywhere, I mean, since the show commenced, there's always something to say about Shakes that you see, oh, he's fought with Bella again, oh, he's talking down at her now, oh, he's embarrassing her here, there. And I'm caught up on you, so ye. She be me, I be beko. She, oh, to be motion, she, I be, oh, to be motion, she. Oh, yeah, I'll to. You know, but Shakes is not like that. Instead, he plays the victim. But come to think of it, can we say the Shella ship is a case of the metaphoric Iru Rumbor? water. So uh, because of that line of thought, the me walk away, cook anybody. Which you only look to shake me by ye. And once up we in your kinder see or a local liar. The little by door or random affect by region or a bit over to the second dynamic. And yes, that's the friendship part of it. And we have Donnie, Chomzi, and Eliswag of special mention. Now, um, these three have been the closest people to Bella and Shades in the house. That is before their eviction. And you know they've had their bags they've taken sides with them they've supported them there was a big case during the week where 
Bell and Shanice had this quanta with Rachel and it just got my sis shut off. Those guys did not speak up. They just took their friend's side. However, after the eviction, of course, Biggie ushered them into a different house. They now call level three. And they at the table, this whole discussion started where Doyin, Chomzi and Eloswaga all saying, oh no, um, Be Bella and Shex are actually rude. They, you shouldn't talk to people like that. You cannot expect to be rude to people and want them to be nice to you in return. Blah, 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 blah. And that worried me. Kini Iyore, Ti Abali Barawa Sotoro. Oh, for real, tell me. How can you be someone's friend? And you cannot tell the person the truth. What is the value of the relationship then? How do you call that a healthy relationship? How do you call that a valuable relationship, a worthy relationship, if you're close friends with someone and both of you cannot tell yourself the truth? Oya Kali Mark Bure Wakba Orenu Koto Shinti by you are kuda won she be and she lia ye. You know, call yourselves and tell yourself the truth. After all, what's up with Tiara Eleni Banje Kokoro? Tia back with Kasofo. The Kokoro don't jay ye. Ko ye rafo. Wo here, to baduru. Ko nija kaso now. So you see someone doing something bad, your friend is doing something bad, and you refuse to call them to order. When the consequences come, everybody will be a particle of it. The essence of friendship is for us to have each other's backs, yes, but not to the point of you know, losing our senses and leading the other person to to their doom. Have the person's back to ensure that they are in the right as much as possible. But then the whole thing just made me think, in your shake by Ralino. And it felt like, okay, learn this lesson afresh again. A dao shake by Rale. I really saw it at the Gunoni. Good dollar, because of my new Guno. You all my friend, Mark, my Rare. That's not to say you don't trust anybody, don't rely on anybody, but because that's what has happened with this whole friendship thing. How can you be their friend? Instead, Tema Soto, Fumo, Loju Kuruju, Ewalo Senyo, Elon Rojo, Oleni. How does that make any sense? Kuni Tumokoko, Bara. To cap it all up, Vambo Reshore, Shore Gidi. Do you want to be a little bit of a little So, I'm going to be If you're going to be a friend, be a good one. Not a shady one, not a hypocritical one. Aki wisibe, kakusibe. Enu la mafi soro. Idi la mafi joko, iti la mafi go. Aya esto ma shele, ore a baeja. Alo mo shore mo. Kuni kalukwa de ma lo lo te. So, I hope you have picked some Yoruba words, proverbs, and you know, idioms, metaphors, and all of that from this video. You tell me what you think about this whole shella shape, as they call them, and what you think about their friendship with Chomzi, Doi, and Eluswag. How are you feeling with this whole thing that happened? I'll be in the comment section. And remember to subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell so that you can get more of this content. This is the best one, but it's raining in the forum. Oh, that's it.